Welcome to today's training. The purpose of this video is to talk to you about how to design a non-listed playlist. Maybe you don't want your videos that you design for your students to be available for everyone on the World Wide Web. You would prefer that they're more hidden, hard to find, and only available through web link access, specific web link access that you only share with your students. The purpose of this training is to help you figure out how to design such a space. You can add more videos to that space, but that original link that you share with your families doesn't change. They go to the same spot over and over again, and you can easily add new content. So let's begin. To get started, please head over to your YouTube channel and sign in. If you're not quite sure how to get here is if you search for your name inside YouTube. Uh, I've bookmarked my channel so that it's quite easy to find mine. Over here, if you click your avatar, go ahead and click your channel, and then that's going to get you to your channel quickly. So I'm going to start right here by clicking on YouTube Studio. By clicking on YouTube Studio, it's going to take me to this space right here. This is classified as my dashboard. And then when I come over here to videos, it's going to show me a long list of all of my videos that don't normally show up on display in my channel. So for example, when I'm over here and I click on videos, I'm only going to see the content that's available to the public. I'm not going to have access to unlisted or private videos in this space. My objective is to go into videos that I've already created, that I've already uploaded, and that are currently on my channel, but they are in the status of unlisted. And you can figure out what the status is over here in the column that says visibility. And then along here, you can quickly see if it's public, if it's unlisted, or it's private. Again, the purpose of this video is to show you how to take that unlisted content and create an unlisted playlist for your students. Let's go ahead and practice this strategy by coming over here. I'm gonna click on the pencil right here where it says details adjacent to this specific video that's in an unlisted status. I'm gonna come over here to the right where it says playlists and I'm going to create a playlist. By clicking on that down facing arrow, a list of all of my playlists appear and then I can click right here where it says new playlist. For the purpose of teaching, I'm just gonna call this miscellaneous. And for the visibility, I don't want it public. I would like for it to be unlisted. Private means I'm the only person in the entire world that has access to it. Unlisted means as long as I share that web link with someone, they have access to it. So let's click unlisted, and then I'm gonna click create. The next step is that I actually need to go through this list and put a check mark in the box associated with that playlist. If you forget any of these steps, it won't work. So make sure that you create that playlist. Make sure you add this item to that playlist and please make sure to use the save button. If you forget the save button, it will not work. So I'm gonna click the save button right here. Now I'm going to head back to my YouTube channel. After heading back to my YouTube channel, I'm gonna click the refresh button. Oh, you know what? I might not even need to do it. It looks like it popped over here on the left. I'm gonna click refresh anyway because I wanna show you something. Not all of your playlists will be visible over here on that left-hand side. You might need to click right here where it says show more. And when you click show more, then the rest of your YouTube playlists will appear, appear in this region. I'm gonna hang out right here where it says mis miscellaneous. I'm gonna do a right click and I'm gonna open link in new tab. I could have clicked directly on it, but I'm just gonna open link in new tab so I don't lose out on having my channel right here in this tab. So here we are in this playlist. And as I add more content, each of those other videos will show up over here. And you actually have a handle where you can move those videos in a specific sequence. Maybe you want the most current video to appear at the top. If you're working on chapter seven of a narrative and you have discussion questions that you wanna talk about with your students and you wanna drag number seven all the way up to the top, then it's up to you. If you change your mind and you do not want that video in this playlist, you also have the ability to remove it from miscellaneous. If you have a specific video and you want the thumbnail of that video to be the thumbnail that you see over here, you can click this button right here that says set as playlist thumbnail 
And then the little thumbnail that you see here will be the image that your viewers see first over here on the left. If at any time you choose to change the title of the playlist, you can click on the pencil right here, make any adjustments to that title, and you can click Save. If you want to scramble the order of those videos, you can use this button right here in order for the videos to scramble. You also have the Share button located right here. This is where you would grab this URL and then share it with your families. I'm going to click copy right here and I'm going to test out what this looks like. In order to do that, come up here. I call it the skinny snowman. Uh, I'm sure it has a more technical term, but right here where you see, see those three dots, come down to incognito window to test how this is going to work for your families. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to paste the URL that I just grabbed and then I'm going to press enter. You'll notice how it looks slightly different from the signed in version. So this right here is where I have the ability to edit it because I own it, but then the people who view the content will see it a little bit differently. They won't see it exactly the way that I do. They obviously don't have the editing rights over here. They obviously don't have the pencil right here. The share button is available over here. So the people who have access to it technically do have the capacity to share it. If you really don't want your families to share it, then you can just politely ask them, please don't share the content that's in this unlisted playlist. Let me go ahead and model what it looks like to add one more video to this playlist. I'm going to come over here to additional content. You don't always have to choose unlisted content. You can definitely choose public content if you want to. I'm going to click on the pencil one more time. I'm going to use that drop down menu over here on the right hand side where it says playlist. I do not need to make a new one because I'm just going to add it to the miscellaneous area. Let me go ahead and put a check mark right there inside of that box. I need to make sure that I click save. Otherwise, it's not going to save my hard work. And then let me go ahead and bring that other screen over and you'll notice what that student or family view looks like. They now have access to both of those. Again, if I ever need to go back to that playlist in order to make changes, I can refresh the screen over here. I can use the handle if I want to bring something to the top and any item that's on the top will instantly become the thumbnail unless I override that by making this thumbnail the thumbnail that's located over there. Obviously, I now have two videos instead of one. If I ever want to change the status of this playlist from unlisted to public or from unlisted to private, I have the ability to make those adjustments over here. If you choose to add a description, feel free to add that information here. Click save when you are finished. Another quick way to add content to this channel is to click on the three dots located just to the right of that share button. I can click right here where it says add videos and then I can search for content. I can also click right here where it says your YouTube videos representing my YouTube videos and then I can scoot through this list and then add more content. Once I have selected a specific video, I can click right here where it says add videos and then that video will populate in this screen. And just before we're finished, let me show you one more efficient way to manage your playlists. When I arrive here in the dashboard, over on the left-hand side, it says playlists, and I can click right here one time. After clicking right here one time in a brand new tab, my playlists will appear. In order to start a new playlist, I can click right here where it says new playlist. I will be asked to provide a title for this playlist, and I will be asked to determine if it's public, unlisted, or private. For right now, I'm just going to call this sample. And I'll add 001 to the end of it. And I will classify this as unlisted and then create. In just a few seconds, this page will produce a brand new tab letting me see this sample 001 playlist. One quick and easy way to load content into that playlist for videos that are not unlisted is that you can actually go to the very bottom of those videos and you can find a way to add it to a playlist by clicking on, I call it the skinny snowman, it's the dot 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 located just underneath that video and you can save it to a playlist right there. It's going to show you a list of playlists that you have designed. Simply click that check mark and then choose the X right here. You can also perform that task for videos that don't even belong to you. 
If you perform a search and you find Dr. Seuss videos and you want to put all those Dr. Seuss videos into a playlist, you can easily go to somebody else's video and then add that to your playlist. The ability to add content to a playlist is also located just below that video. If the save button has been muted out, it could be that there are some privacy restrictions related to that. Whether or not it's appropriate or not appropriate for children may undermine your ability to save that content inside of a playlist that you have generated. I'll hop over to this sample video and then model what it looks like to add that video to your playlist. Right here, the save button has not been muted out. When I click save right here one time, I can come up to sample 001 and then add it to that space. Let me close this out and then I'll head back to that sample. It looks like things are missing, but once I refresh that screen, you'll see how the content that I have hand selected for this playlist will appear on the screen. Inside this dashboard in the playlist area, I also have the ability to delete those playlists if I wish. Quite frankly, if I click the edit button, it's just gonna open up another tab like this. And if I change my mind and I don't want that anymore, I can click this sideways skinny snowman and then choose the delete button right here. By choosing the delete button, that playlist is gone. Thank you so much for joining me for today's training. Feel free to click on that subscribe button and check out this video. Have a great day.